So T.I. and Boosie, I'm trying to figure out the context of this. I guess they were, uh, their kids were making a video. Mm-hmm. Yeah, music and, video. <laughs> and I guess they had guns. Yeah. Just just watch their reaction to, to Treat what Treat kind like yeah. you treat yours. Why y'all got so much ass, bro? Why y'all always got to have What is it about the gun, man? It's not a ass, man. Well, in the manner in which you portray in the don't look legitimate, sir. Because I'm not supporting the whole. I'm not can't do it. I'm not. What kind of parent gonna support their kids in here? Slide, come on, right. bigger than you, popping it. They got a gun in your book then. So this so old motherfucker pull up and they say, hey, hey, who who do you belong to? Who raised their hand? Somebody got to raise their hand. I've been seeing him around too here a lot. You gonna raise your own hand? I've been seeing him around too. Huh? Well, when you got drugs, it ain't like it ain't. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Got got when y'all got drugs got around no those drugs. legal guns, that calls it's not like possession that. of a firearm and commission of a crime, sir. That is a felony. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. you come out of court. I, I can't believe this, shit, man. Why don't y'all? What happened to some mother? So why y'all don't make no mother love me? We got girls right here. Why don't you talk about being in love, man? I'm talking about wanting to, want to, want to, want to lay down and, 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 and you know. Lay down. Yeah. That was bad, bad advice. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think about T.I. and Boosie uh, scolding their kids for doing, not the same thing they did, but same kind of it family of things. I mean, I'm sorry, not the same thing. You're right. Not the same thing. I would say what they did was worse. Um no, it's it's interesting because we see this happening a lot with celebrities and their kids. Like they start realizing, like I want my kids to be better, and then they realize that they're kind of following the same trend, the same path. I wonder what I, I've always thought about that, right? Like it was something to bring kids into the world and you know look at them from a hospital bed and know that you're the person that God has chosen to steward this this child and and bring them up. And what's that gonna look like, right? And I gotta imagine that they're they had the same feelings when their kids were brought into the world, right? But you also got to look at it like, well, what examples are you setting, mm -hmm. right? And what examples are you setting and what do you want them to be like? And what did you, what privileges did you give them that they should have maybe not had or had to earn for themselves? You know, so there's different things that would cause this attitude or this behavior to take place in your children. Um, but it's funny because Boosie has a long history of acting up and having guns and i mean i just recently not too long ago maybe like a year or two ago saw a, a police stop with him and he had guns and he had all this kind of stuff in the car and it's like bro like you know you're saying don't do this in a music video it's a music video it still it portrays a negative uh, image but at the same time it's like they're not doing what y'all did so you know well, You're doomed to repeat it if you if you don't if you don't check it in the first place. So I saw a lot of the comments because people were saying something similar to what we're saying now in the comments. Yeah. Like, how are they going to tell them what to do when they did such as a? A lot of the people in the comments were like, "Man, y'all y'all crazy for saying something like that." Uh, Ti and Boosie came from a different situation. These kids are rich. They didn't come from that that environment. They have no reason to be doing it. They faking. Okay. Yes, but mm -hmm. if you if you capitalize in, in the way you got to your success was yeah. glorifying sin, glorifying Guns, ungodliness, drugs, selling drugs, your kids, regardless of if they come from that life or not, you showed them that doing that means success. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter if the people that are portraying this kind of lifestyle that's accepted in hip hop aren't doing it because th that that's where they're from and that's what they're, they're doing it because it, it's successful yeah it pays yeah right so i don't i don't find it odd at all that their kids would want to emulate what their parents oh, taught them was the right way to get successful no you think about the music videos that their dads put out you're watching you know 24s and trap music and all this kind of stuff and rubber band man and i mean like how many different you know asap all these different videos um, you know, set it off. Like you're you're displaying this in your music and in their videos. And who do you admire the most if you're a young boy? You admire your father, yeah. right? So your father has money. Your father at one time had guns and had drugs and had all that stuff that they got they're famous saying, off of. But they're saying Ryan, that's the life they came from. Their kids didn't come from that life. The reason he did that was so that his kids wouldn't have to. I know, but the the problem is. They're seeing the imagery and still there's a lot of 
people that still look up to their fathers. So they're like, man, my dad hadn't lost a step. He's still cool. He's still, you know, liked in these streets. I want to be like him. Yeah. So I'm going to put a music video out that emulates my dad. Maybe I can't rap as good, but, you know, I'm going to put a music video out that emulates what my dad did, what I saw you know, his success was. So, I mean, this is classic Reap What You Sow. I'm glad that T.I. is realizing that, okay, this is not good. You oh, know, yeah. he's trying to – I've seen changes in his, his approach oh, yeah. for the yeah. last couple of years sure. where – it seems like he's trying to do better now, but this is the fruit that you planted. Like this is what you taught the world is how you do this. You, yeah. you, you glor, you glorify street life. Yeah, you glorify and and even his advice to Dan, like everybody's saying, is that's not better. Yeah, why don't you talk about laying down with this little girl over here? Why? That's yeah, not good. That's awful. That has that that's gonna ruin his life too. Yeah. Right. So, I I. I this is this is a cultural problem, and we have to figure out how to stop making guns, drugs, women, mm -hmm. uh, flashiness, mm -hmm. make that the coolest thing ever. Because kids see that regardless of where they come from, suburbs, mm -hmm. rural, wherever, it doesn't matter. They see that. They see how much attention yeah. guys like that get from girls and mm -hmm. the respect they get from other guys, and they're going to want that same respect. <laughs> Let me ask you this question. How much would you say making money distracts us make it keeps us busy right like everybody when you wake up in the morning your your idea is you're going out to make money you're going to work you're starting up a podcast you're doing you're doing something to make money you're entertaining yourself mm -hmm. when you got money like diddy kind of money mm -hmm. you get bored easily so you start doing crazy stuff and thinking up these crazy ideas when you have money as a kid growing up and your parents were successful you get bored you start thinking, well, what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? Spending money is something that runs out fast. Like you, you got the latest shoes. Okay, cool. You got the nice car. Okay, cool. You got whatever, whatever. Like if you, if you have to keep spending in order to make yourself happy, mm -hmm. where does it end? And so I feel like that's the biggest issue with a lot of these rappers is that they have this money, they get bored, and then what happens next? They fall into a life of sin and the enemy overtakes their mind and there's like all these different things start to happen i feel like yeah you just need to you need to find something so you think the love work. of money is the root of this issue oh That's yeah a topic for sure, for it's sure. coming up next yeah, you know what yeah, yeah. i actually i want i i want to give you a heads up because i moved it <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> yeah, i am all gonna right, do it next right. yeah 